If you need to replace your master cylinder, there is something very important you need to do before installing it on your vehicle. Just like new brake lines, you need to remove the air to prevent a soft brake pedal or even brake failure. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to bleed your master cylinder. You are going to need some kind of device to keep the master cylinder secure and prevent it from moving around too much. I bought this small workbench and will use this clamp to keep it in place. Here are the things you need to successfully bleed your master cylinder. The master cylinder, obviously, a bleeding kit, and you will need brake fluid. My truck takes dot three. There are multiple sizes of adapters in the bleeder kit, so you may need to test fit a few to make sure you grab the right ones. Make sure both of the fittings are snug to prevent brake fluid from escaping, and then we can move on to the next step. Just push the tubes over the ends of the fittings at the bottom, and then feed the other end into the white plastic tab at the top. These white tabs can be placed anywhere on top. You can see I am just in mine right here. Do the same with the other side, and then we can move on. So break that seal, and then start pouring fluid into your master cylinder. 